so many ways to go at it when you're on the road. You think to yourself, well, if we start on defense, we blitz them early to try and create a big play. If we start on offense, we throw the big pass downfield. In this case, they said, forget all of that. Let's do it on special teams and try and catch them off guard with an onside kick unsuccessfully. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the 13-time Pro Bowler Ray Lewis. Pass him in this. And he takes this one this. back in. And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. Oh, and how about this? An onside kick to start the game. A scramble for it. I think the Patriots may have got it. They did. First down, Vic. Being chased out left. Pass midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be caught for the Patriot touchdown. DK Metcalf, 37 yards. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So look at this. They got the 7-0 lead in the pocket. And they're going to try an onside kick. And they got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though, there's a penalty flag down. They were a little too excited to get the football touched it before it went 10 yards. And that's so difficult, isn't it? Because sometimes you can just take a bad hop and veer into your lane or into your body. In this case, though, they touched it before 10. Illegal touching is the call. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this one is incomplete. I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of a game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they used a slot receiver to run deep downfield and tried to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. This is going to be the matchup to watch out on the perimeter, and it won't be the last time these two go at it. Both of them believe they are the superior. In this case, the win goes to the defense. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The 
certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And so we're opening them and over. Touchdown, Seahawks. DK Metcalf, 49 yards. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Vick will look to throw on first down. Steps away to his left. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there. Wait. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Flushed out right. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 29-yard line. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. DK Metcalf with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're gonna go onside kick. And they've got it, they recovered it. But hang on now though, there's a penalty flag down. So they hit the ball before it went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you gotta stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football, it's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Well, that was sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Folk. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. 
And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Mahomes going to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Throwing again on second and 10. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 35. Play action, now it's Mahomes. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And it's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. Scramble drill there, partner. Some teams have some pretty good rules for it. Others are just saying, make sure you work your way back into the sight lines of your quarterback, even if you take the play deep. And that's what they attempted to do. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. DK Metcalf on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. 